everyone, I'm Sophia with Awaken Catholic, and this is Awaken the Saint. Christianity made its way to Korea not on purpose, but in secret during the Japanese invasion of 1592. Then in 1777, the first copies of Christian literature were given to the faithful who lived and practiced in secret. It wasn't until decades later that the Christians of Korea met their first priest. This is thankfully something that most Christians today can't wrap their minds around how individuals can be so devoted to their faith in the midst of tyranny, persecution, and isolation. I can guarantee that even if you're not Catholic, let alone Christian, you have at the very least met a priest or read a passage from the Bible. What this hidden community did have was strength to defend what they believed and peace in a God who had never abandoned them. Andrew Kim was the son of converts who answered the fearful calling to become the first native Korean priest. His ministry life was full of secrecy, beginning with his 1,300-mile journey to the nearest seminary in Macau, China. After six years of studying, he entered Shanghai and was ordained a priest in 1845 by the newly appointed Bishop Farol and first apostolic of Korea. Then the true trials began. Father Andrew Kim was tasked with the dangerous job of secretly bringing missionaries into Korea and avoiding border patrol. Father Andrew was able to help many religious enter Korea under their oppressors and lead Christians into secret, but unfortunately was apprehended by officials in 1846, just a little over a year following his ordination. While in captivity, he received poor treatment, was tortured, and eventually beheaded at the age of 25. In his final breaths, Father Andrew still desired for the salvation of his captors. He wanted his captors to still share in the everlasting peace that he knew he would soon enjoy. Father Andrew Kim Taegon became the first martyred native Korean priest, followed by countless Korean faithful from 1839 until 1867. In 1883, religious freedom finally was granted in Korea, and one year later, Pope St. Paul II paid a visit. He canonized St. Andrew Kim, along with 98 named men and women, lay and religious, for their joyful martyrdom and witness to the faith. We might think that our faith leaves us feeling isolated in our own lives, but then we sell our persecution short and say, at least it isn't a crime to be Christian. What do I have to be truly worried about? Although most of us watching aren't being killed for believing in the risen Lord Jesus Christ, it is harmful to think that our trials are less important than the martyrs of Korea. Different, yes, but not less of a struggle. They are rather supposed to be examples of how we can respond to our own persecutions. May we have the courage to keep praying in our private lives when our persecutors drown us out. Let our hidden witness be just as bright a hope as those who visibly share their faith in the world. St. Andrew Kim Taegon and companions, pray for us. Awaken the Saint is a three minute daily show that unpacks the lives of the saints with practical messages for everyday life.